So dear friends, greeting from Vet Innovation Classes. I am Dr. Prakrutik Bausar. We will be talking about the layout of dairy plant. Right. So this is a layout of a milk processing plant in which the majority of the milk is collected from different different places and it will be coming to a single place different different uh, villages send their milk to a district layer cooperative so milk is coming in bulk so this milk is being holded in a tank after the milk that is holded in the tank uh, the temperature is being reduced so that bacterial load can be managed from this the milk is taken as a pool sample and it is taken for the testing of raw milk quality they are carrying on some kind of taste like microbial counts and others uh, adulterants and other chemical residues all will be taking here raw milk will be tested the same raw milk when it is meeting the quality criteria that will be taken out for cheese making why raw milk is being taken for cheese making because pasteurization of milk just make some chemical changes inside the matrix so that the granite enzyme will not work so cheese making cannot be fulfilled right so this is the important step that the cheese is being prepared from raw milk from this milk now important step is there what is that separation what is being separated cream and skim milk so skim milk is sometimes referred as plasma as we are studying in our uh, blood that once the blood is withdrawn from the veins and when it is centrifuged at that time the cellular portion that will be coming at the bottom and that is called as packed cell volume and the remaining supernatant is called as plasma the same way here when the fat is taken out at that time milk is called as either skim milk or plasma this plasma is very definitive term in dairy technology and it can be asked in examination so bachche log aapko logo ko focus karna hai ki ye plasma kya hai confuse nahi hona hai plasma aur skim milk dono ek hi cheez hai okay so after that there is cream and skim milk now you can make n number of combination of fats and snf right because uh, skim milk is a rich source of solids not fat right so n number of combinations in, are made and that is called as standardization for example 4.5 percentage of fat plus Nine percentage of SNF or eight point five percentage of SNF is called as standardized milk. So rather than nine, it is eight point five percentage of SNF is called as standardized milk. Standardized milk, right? Four point five plus eight point five. Now from this. When the standardization of the milk is done, it is being transferred to pasteurization. In dairy industry, based on the capacity, the process of pasteurization vary. Here, the typical diagram is depicting this HTST: high temperature, short time pasteurization. Right, seventy-three degrees Celsius for fifteen seconds is called as HTST. We will be studying about this in detail in subsequent classes. But this is the layout so that I am discussing about. So uh, here, cold hot water is being sent. From here, cold water is there. Right, the hot water make the milk hot, 
and cold water will make it promptly chilled so that now the storage stability can be increased right from this it will be going for homogenization so what happens in homogenization the fat globules of the milk is broken down to a certain extent that it will not form a cream layer right for example what happens here we will again see this in a detail but not self what happens that the if a fat globule this is a fat globule so the specific gravity of fat globules is lesser than that of the water or the milk so it has a tendency that by gravity it will be going on higher side upward side so it will be making a tendency to make a cream right so what and at the same time there is a gravity based on specific gravity it will be going up and gravity will make it at the downward so when you go for making cutting of these globules or you make a smaller fragment up to 2 micron now it will make a homogeneous solution it will not form cream so this is important aspect so if you are going to make flavored milk or any kind of thing so it will remain homogeneous at this uh, for that perspective it is important to go for homogenization for certain aspect you can skip this process if you intend to make uh, butter or ghee so at that time you need cream so you are supposed not to break it down in a smaller fragment so you should skip this after that you can go for this filling bottling and after packaging it will be sent outward so in nut cell from collection tasting then cheese making cream separation there are two important steps cream is separated and this source of snf that is plasma or skim milk is being uh, taken out after that the different combinations are made and the standardization of milk is carried out after that the pasteurization will be there this homogenization is optional process based on your requirement and after that you are taking it out for packaging so this is it right in next steps what happens now if you want to start a dairy processing plant so which points you are supposed to take care of so location is very important thing right at which place you will establish your processing plant so altitude altitude means height it should be at the sufficient height that in rainy seasons there won't be any kind of water logging why what are the problems created by water logging there is mud formation right your dairy wagons are having high capacity sometimes a lakh liter of milk is tra transport simultaneously so obviously very heavy weight is there they will uh, fix down in this mud and your transportation chain will be disrupted so nobody is taking this risk and you are supposed not to make your plant in lower altitude you should always prefer a high or good amount of altitude for example 5 to 10 meters height or sometimes 1 to 2 meter height than that of the average height of surroundings now another important thing is surroundings which kind of place is to be chosen for example it should not be in too much near to the city area why because the land itself is costing a lot at the same time uh, there is disturbance due to traffic so it should be moderately in city so surrounding area where some basic facilities like schooling then you should get some uh, 
electricity water availability connectivity this is again consider in surroundings so you should get this ample services in nearby area so surroundings is also playing very important role at the same time connectivity if it is two village you are supposed to pass all your wagons through a smaller road which is practically not possible because you are supposed to uh, process this staple food every day staple it means every day right so in uh, rainy season it will be very difficult to pass through these smaller roads so you should take care of connectivity if you can choose some place which will be having access to rail it is even better so that you can easily transport a huge amount of milk or any processed products by railway it is most convenient way and most cheapest way of transport right so you should always take care of this connectivity at the same time water availability not just simply water availability but the potable water what does this mean that in previous slide what we have seen in some sophisticated instrument like HTHT pasteurization you are supposed to use water and that water is being heated up to several centigrades right so when the water is off having some higher hardness so it will clog the pipelines that will cause the deposition of salts right so we are supposed not to use any kind of hard water and we have to ensure the source of water that is potable at the same time we have to take care of effluent because in dairy plant we are using cleaning in place system that makes a huge amount of effluent so where to discard this effluent or how to handle this effluent for this again a separate plant is required so you should always uh, choose a location which gives you a scope for further expansion in future electricity without electricity is really very important uh, means it is really very difficult to manage your all the operations so you should ensure that the 24 cross 7 electricity is there because you cannot shut down this plant anywhere in between because this is a very perishable product so you should take care of these five points that is altitude matlab uski unchai kitni hai wo sufficiently honi chahiye surrounding aas paas ka vistar kaisa hai wahan koi janwar ka tras hai ki nahi aas paas koi mud formation yadi hota hai lower altitude ke hisab se to aapke vehicles wahan nahi ja payenge to wo ultimately aapko processing mein dikkat karenge at the same times connectivity aapka jo area hai wo road ke nazdik hona chahiye wo amply matlab wide hona chahiye taki heavy wagons wahan easily aa ja sake राइट एट द सेम टाइम यदि यदि आपको रेल की फैसिलिटी यदि नियर बाय एरिया में अवेलेबल हो सकती है तो वो बहुत बढ़िया बात है और वाटर अवेलेबिलिटी वाटर मतलब जो पानी है वो पीने लायक होना चाहिए उसकी हार्डनेस एक लेवल से ऊपर नहीं होनी चाहिए ताकि जो पानी आप यूज करो वो अंदर क्षार पैदा ना करे और आपकी जो पाइपलाइंस है उसको क्लॉग ना करे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी के बिना तो कोई ऑपरेशन करना प्रैक्टिकली नामुमकिन है तो आपको ये तो एनश्योर करना ही है कि वहां पे अच्छी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हो ओके सो फॉर मिल्क प्रोसेसिंग प्लांट्स वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द लोकेशन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिविल स्ट्रक्चर्स रिक्वायर्ड उसमें क्या क्या बांध काम करने चाहिए कौन कौन से अंदर यूनिट्स होने चाहिए सबसे पहला है रिसेप्शन ऑफ मिल्क मिल्क जहां से आएगा वहीं पास में ही ऐसा कुछ होना चाहिए जाके मिल्क का टेस्टिंग इजीली कर सके तो मिल्क का रिसेप्शन होने के बाद तुरंत वो लैब में भेजा जा सके इट शुड बी एकोमोडेट इन सच अ वे दैट द टेस्टिंग लेबोरेटरी शुड बी नियर बाय उसका तुरंत चिलिंग करना है क्योंकि मिल्क का क्या है कि वो उसके अंदर क्या होता है प्रोटीन होता है फैट होता है उसके अंदर सुखा मतलब लैक्टोज होता है ये सभी चीज कम्युनिटिवली क्या कर दी है कि जो माइक्रोब्स को ग्रो होना है 
उसके लिए एक बेस्ट मीडियम प्रोवाइड करती है सो आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस बेस्ट मीडियम फॉर द न्यूट्रिय माइक्रोव स्टार्ट टू फ्लेर अप बट वन चेक मार्क फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ माइक्रोव इज टेम्परेचर सो वेन यू रिड्यूस द टेम्परेचर अप लेस देन फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस द माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ विल बी सीज्ड एंड योर मिल्क कैन बी स्टोर्ड फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड सो द टोटल रो मिल्क काउंट विल बी इन लिमिट एंड यू कैन प्रोसेस इट फर्दर सो चिलिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो चिलिंग कैन बी डन इन चिलिंग साइलोस बिग सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स कैन बी मेड दैट कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड विथ कंप्रेसर दैट विल मेक अ कूल्ड वेंटिलेशन इन साइड द साइलो एंड दैट विल अगेन सर्व योर पर्पज ऑफ चिलिंग द सेम वे स्टोरेज स्टोरेज शूड ऑल्सो बी फैसिलिटेटेड विद द चिलिंग फैसिलिटी बिकॉज आफ्टर प्रोसेसिंग इट शूड ऑल्सो बी कैप्ट एट द टेम्परेचर वेल माइक्रोब्स वॉन्ट ग्रो अदरवाइज योर होल प्रोसीजर विल Yield no any fruitful results. Separation. So, क्या separate करना है आपको आपके milk processing plant के अंदर कोई highly contaminated item जो आती है जैसे कि effluent है वो कहीं से भी आपके जो main product है उसको contaminate ना करे So, you should take due precaution for separation of effluent from your products. the same time pasteurization and homogenization equipments so pasteurization can be htst for larger processing plant or if it is a smaller you can use batch batch pasteurizer so what is there in batch pasteurize one cylindrical structure is there that is provided with the heat either by flame or by steam so the milk will be heated for specific time temperature combination so it will yield milk to be pasteurized and free from any kind of pathogenic organism based on the size of plant you can decide between homogenization so homogenizer is also required now packaging and product manufacturing unit is also required so these are the different different uh, sections which are required provision for quality control and storage this again furnished in testing laboratory a testing laboratory can fulfill this goal now utility units like steam generation and refrigeration control so this is again simple it's self explanatory so in nutshell what is there so you should make a structure which will encompass all the things together and that will work in homogenization that all the procedure will take care in a close contact reception should be nearer to testing laboratory chilling facilities should be there storage facilities should be there the things should not get mixed so separation facilities should be there then most important things are pasteurization unit homogenization unit packaging unit and this uh, utility units like steam generation and refrigeration controls are required okay sir you can cut it here